If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. An Ohio-based dentist office has caused a stir on social media after setting an appropriate dress code for patients entering her establishment. The black woman identified as Dr. Sutton placed a sign on the table of the dental office that reads, no bonnets, no house shoes, no pajama bottoms. On Wednesday, a Twitter user shared the now viral video of the sign and receiving mixed reactions from other users on the social media platform. And that tweet itself has garnered 5 million views, 24.8K likes, and 1,184 quotes. Many Twitter users found the sign offensive because it targets black women who likely wear their hair bonnets as a protective tool for their hair. However, others argue that the cap should be worn at night to protect their hair and not to wear in public. Now, this is where I have a problem. So we got one man here, black. He said, it's flat out racist. How? This is a black woman who was a dentist. She didn't went through all of the schooling. She didn't put the money together. She didn't formulate her own business, right? She got her license and she, she bought the space, right? So if as a black woman, she wants to put up rules, basically stating no bonnets, no house shoes, no pajama bottoms. Where is the racism in that? This is this is what I what I like to state when I I see it gets to a point that people are becoming stupid and they're just stating things and saying things just to say it. At no point in time is this black woman being racist. She's saying that she wants people to have some type of decorum about themselves. Like if you're going to come directly to her office, act like you actually got up and took a shower and that you're preparing right to go to an appointment at no point in time should you be going to an appointment and if you're going to an appointment and a bonnet i'm expecting like all right so the woman is going to you know get her hair done or maybe she might be getting her makeup done right because sometimes you'll see women do that it depends on the type of makeup right dentist office it don't even make any sense i've sat in dentist office before and i have not seen a woman roll in there with a bonnet now maybe if it's the hood or whatever it is maybe that's what they you know they want to sit up there and do again it makes no sense because if if this was any other area across the united states the same women walking in there with a bonnet wouldn't be doing that in a whole different area because they know better but because it's their own people and because it's their people's business they feel that they have the ability to show up and come any any type of way that they want to show up going to the house shoes again that's crazy and that's also a liability right house shoes don't have any type of grip let's say that the floors aren't accommodating for house shoes right maybe if you have you know regular gym shoes or whatever it is the bottoms of your shoes they'll cause a certain type of friction where you can actually you know catch yourself you won't be slipping and falling and, and yada 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 house shoes are not built like that house shoes are not built for you to just you know realistically just walk out the house and you're able to like run you're able to jog you're able to do a lot of these things no nah. and then on top of that a lot of house shoes do not have a back directly to them right so again you can look at that for safety reasons even at jobs they tell you certain shoes to wear certain shoes not to wear are we going to sit up there and say that that's racist no we're going to say that that's common sense going to the pajama bottoms is complete common sense what do they what do they tell your kids at school are we going to say that it's racist when the when the teachers are telling your kids and the principals and the superintendent telling your kids like hey don't show up to class with pajamas on don't do that. Like I said before, realistically, that's something that you just slept in. That's not clean. It's, it's giving off the appearance, realistically, as you just woke up and just came in to class. Like, you're not taking anything serious. That's crazy. That's 1,000% crazy. Again, this was 
made by a doctor who is a black woman who owns the business. Nothing about this is racist. Again, this is why, you know, I need people to <laughs> actually start reading articles versus just going off on the deep end. Another person said, since when is it necessary to dress up to go to the dentist? This dentist should care that his slash her patients are comfortable while getting treatment. I'd be happy if everyone wore a bonnet and a chair so the headrest is not full of hair products and sweat. Then they later stated, if I got kicked out for wearing pajama bottoms to a root canal, I would care in so hard on that place. And again, this is an overreaction that doesn't even make any type of sense. Um, some of the dentist's office that I have actually gone to uh, some of the times uh, that I can at least account for, they've laid down um, thin paper. So let's say you are coming directly in there, just like when they go to a, a tattoo shop or whatever it is. Normally, they cover the chair with a paper or maybe they'll have some plastic or whatever it is. And then, you know, you'll sit down. After you're done, they will tear off that paper. They will uh, proceed to clean off the whole chair and then they will place paper back, getting prepared for the next person that has an appointment. That's normally how it goes. So the whole thing of talking about, I, you know, I don't want to worry about, you know, hair products and sweat. That's not even a concern anyway, because they're usually cleaning the chair that the patients are sitting in. So again, the overreaction, just just making up, just listing stuff just to try to have a stance. And then you wanted to go into the pajama bottoms and wanted to, you know, basically state that you were caring so hard if they, you know, uh, uh, threw you out because you were getting a root canal. First of all, they would just sit up there and tell you before you were even able to make it to the back door. All right. You're not in the proper attire. We're going to have to just either reschedule or just cancel. That's what we're going to do because we have a certain type of attire that we expect um, our patients to wear. Uh, we have a certain presentation that we want the business to have. And this is not living up to that. Right. It's that simple. It's cut and dry. Again, for people to try to make these what ifs and to say all of these other things, it just means that you feel entitled that you should be able to do it because it's a business and because you're a consumer. And again, I keep telling people, uh, whoever made up the whole thing of that the customer is always right has been lying to you they gave you a, a type of self-entitlement where you feel that you can go into any establishment and just do whatever it is that you want to do no you can't and there needs to be more businesses out here that will start setting the record straight so that these quote-unquote grown-ups can actually start acting like grown-ups instead of just grown-up children whenever it is that they enter somebody else's business and this is a woman that has 100% common sense. She stated, what they fail to realize is that she's enforcing such rules because she wants to maintain a certain image. People may not come back because everyone in the waiting room rolled out of bed. And that's a thousand percent facts. If it looks like just any old body is in here, you're not going to want to come to that establishment. You want it to have a certain type of look, a certain type of image. Again, nobody's going to a dining restaurant where people are just a five star dining restaurant where everybody looked like they just rode directly out of bed and they're eating, you know, five hundred, a hundred dollar, you know, type of, you know, foods or whatever. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Like I said, we I, I didn't already showed you a video of the turkey hunt. And how it is that you had a woman that wanted to uh, uh, walk around there with pretty much nothing on in front of families, in front of kids, walking into the establishment and deciding that she wanted patronage. She wanted service because she was against the dress code that they had set. Like I said, it's ridiculous. And it also proves the fact that, you know, in certain instances, you have people that are sent to sabotage what it is. Um, that you are doing. So I 100% uh, commend this black woman who was a dentist, who was licensed, who formulated her own business for putting these rules directly in place. 
Because again, you have a lot of people there that are placed there in order to set you back, in order to destroy what it is that you have created with your own two hands. And it is up to you to set the rules and the regulations and the law in that place. Again, that is her place. If you don't want to sit up there and um, patronize her, her, you know, her dentist business, then you can clearly go somewhere else. She don't need you there. If it's that much of an issue, if if you are so gun ho about wanting to wear pajamas and a bonnet and house shoes, you can clearly go to somebody else that'll let you do that. They'll let you walk in there as raggedy as you want to sit up there and, and walk in there and take your money. And you probably won't be getting the best service either. Because, again, ain't nobody going to be really patronizing those businesses like that. I know I wouldn't. Like I said, if I see... If I walk into an establishment and I see certain types of things going on, I'm walking directly out. I done done it a multitude of times. The same way I walked into that establishment is the same way I leave out in silence. I don't got to say nothing. I don't got to let them know nothing. Like I said, that's how you do it. Again, for people to be complaining online about this, and especially black people, y'all trifling. Y'all thousand percent trifling. Y'all need to fix yourselves. Y'all need to fix y'all ways. Because this ain't it. And again, like I keep telling y'all, y'all wonder why it is that you don't have a lot of black businesses. Because when it comes to black businesses, black people feel that they are entitled. They feel uh, that they are allowed certain types of things and they can do it just because. And again, if this was anybody else's establishment, you wouldn't be seeing black people trying to argue online, oh, this is unfair and all this other no, then, then then go to school. Go to dentistry. Go put your money up. Go learn go go learn the uh, the tools of success to become a, a you know a dentist or a dentist assistant, whatever it is. You won't, but you'll sit up there and be complaining about what's what's fair and what's not fair. If you feel that it's unfair again, go do the work that needs to be done so that you can make the rules. So that if you want to be a dentist, you want to have your business, you can allow everybody to walk in there any which way, just coming off of the streets, sleeping on the sidewalk that been rained on for the last three to four days, smelling like wet dogs. Go ahead. Allow people to walk in there like that. Let's see how long your business is going to be patronized by customers. Let's see how many people are going to want to set up appointments and let's see how long you stay open. 